guys welcome to another video so today's video I wanted to use some ColourPop products that I purchased during their Black Friday sale so I used some concealer some powder some eyeshadows and all of that good stuff to get this look today if you want to see the products I used and all that good stuff make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay guys, so jumping right into it. Of course, I'm going to use my Maybelline Super Base um, eyeshadow primer. I've been using this a lot lately. I absolutely love it. It makes my eyeshadows pop and stick without me having to do too much work to it. So yeah. So I'm just applying it with a random brush from Shop Miss A. You all know that I love me some Shop Miss A brushes and I'm kind of patting it in there because I want it to be thick but smooth. So yeah, I think I spend a lot of my time just applying the base because I feel like if my base is where it's supposed to be, then my eyeshadows are laid like the right way. I am still learning so I practice almost every other day. That's me taking off my bracelet, y'all. So, yeah, I'm just packing it on there, brush, and I left it, you know, in real time. This whole video is in real time because I didn't want to speed anything up. <laughs> it takes a lot of blending for this, um, this pigment I mean this um, primer but that's a good thing because the eyeshadows are true to color when you put it on your lid then I take a just a car beauty sponge and I pat it out to make sure it's even flatter so I don't have any lumps or bumps or anything on my eyes so then I picked up the bar OQ um, palette from Colourpop the first shade I went into is Stunner, and it's at the bottom, and it reminds me of a blue-purple shade. It's matte, and it reminds me of a blue-purple shade, so I put that all in my crease and my outer V. I just blended it all in those areas in no particular shape or anything. And this is a Wet n Wild blending brush. I picked some of these up from the dollar store. And I need to go back and pick up some more because I absolutely love these brushes to blend. I had to wash them because all of mine were dirty. <laughs> I gotta wash so many brushes, y'all. I'm not even playing. If y'all knew how many brushes I have to wash. And I said my set my goal for next year that I was going to wash at least 10 brushes every day. I know I'm pushing it. Let's just say I was, I'm going to wash 20 brushes a week. So that way I don't get backed up with dirty brushes again. So yeah, I'm just blending it out. And trying to make sure like deep in my crease. I don't know if I have hooded eyes or what's the other shape i don't know what y'all know what i'm talking about i know they say you have hooded eyes or you have some kind of eyes i don't know so then i took the other shade lounge at the bottom and this was a brown purple blue <laughs> i'm just putting all colors together but it was a brown shade so i figure not a real dark brown shade like a brown it looks brown blue to me i don't know but I figure if I can put it on the edges to kind of like smooth it out so it's not as harsh. Because I was getting scared at this point. Yeah, I was scared at this point because I'm like, oh, here we go. I got to go to work. I'm trying to do this shadows. It's not turning out how I pictured it in my head. But I'm going to keep going. Instead of just going to what I know, a brown smoky eye with a little pop of color. Like, if you want to learn how to do eyeshadow, you got to keep doing it and doing it until you get it right. So, 
that's my mindset for all 2022. Keep doing it till you get it right. And that right there is a Amazon brush. It's either an Amazon brush or a Morphe brush. It's one of those. I don't know, y'all. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all I know. You see me breathing hard because this blender is no joke. Like, for real. For real. I'm looking down. I'm looking up. I'm looking to the side to make sure, like, I got all areas of my eyeball. And so the next shade in the middle, so you might as well say I used all three shadows at the bottom of this palette, is Grand. And Grand was a very dark navy blue with glitter in it. Right? So I figured I could put that on the side of the outer V color. So I can drink, that's me. That's how deep it was. And y'all can't even see because it's so blurry. The camera didn't focus on it but it is pigmented y'all see how deep that is like yeah if you're looking for a navy blue color eyeshadow like I wasn't ready for it it looked deep in the pan but you know some shadows in the pan can look very very deep and then when you go to put it on your eyes like it's not deep at all so yeah um that was very deep so I wanted to go from deep to light on my eye and I was trying to use as many shadows as I could from out of this palette and on my first go round that's me looking at the eyeshadow palette to see like what shadow I can use next because the deep blue had me like, oh no, do I continue to put that all over my eye or do I go lighter? So then I went with the shade Secret and it was this purple blue shade. Still has a little bit of glitter in it, but I just felt like it just was a little bit lighter. So it would give me that pop of lightness in the inner part of my eye without it being too too bright because I didn't want it like too bright I already got a lot going on like I got a deep blue crease a deep blue transition I got glitter in the middle I didn't want to do like an extra neon bright blue in the corner so I'm just packing that on there I tell y'all eyeshadows is work and this is me <laughs> like do I keep it do I keep pushing Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing, Nana. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. And I took the shade 175 and put it all over my face as my face color. I had 175 and 180. And out of the two, I chose 175 to use as an all-over face um, concealer. To me, this concealer was not very full coverage. It gave you a very natural, subtle look. So, and I was okay with that. I was okay. But if you're looking for full coverage, I don't, I'm not quite sure. You might could build this up to get full coverage. But it did give it a natural look. So, I'm just blending it out with a Shopmates A brush, of course. Foundation brush. It's very skin-like concealer. You all know, for the people who are new to my channel, new subscribers, thank you. <laughs> But I love concealers. I love concealers over foundation. You'll see a lot of me using concealers on my channel because I feel like I can work with concealers better. Like I am most like more likely to find uh, my concealer shade versus a foundation shade. So yeah, so I use concealers a lot over here on this channel, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is all. It's okay. It's okay. And I've had this concealer before. Along with the tinted ColourPop, um, pretty fresh uh, tinted foundation or whatever. So I just had to repurchase it because the ones I had was old and they were on sale for Black Friday. So that worked out. So yeah, I'm just using that. And I put another layer around my mouth, the discoloration, hyperpigmentation to see if I can build up a little bit more coverage which I don't think I did 
Or did I? I don't know. The next shade is 158, and I use that to highlight, which is a perfect highlight shade for me. Perfect highlight shade. No complaints with this shade at all. It wasn't too bright, uh, and it wasn't too dark. Like, it was just perfect for me. So, yeah, I'm just using that to contour with. It's still giving me the skin like... Uh, skin like makeup, but no makeup look, and I'm fine with that. My eyes were already doing enough. I did not need to do any more than what I was already doing. Trust me. <laughs> hmm. I swear I'd be so focused. You would think like <laughs> I was going somewhere for real, for real. How focused I am. And then I use the shade 190 to contour with, which, you see how it looks? It just looks orange. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I thought this was like, I thought this was deep. Now I'm looking like, mm, this is looking orange. So I'm blending it out with the wet Cara Beauty sponge. It blends out fine. It's um, melts in your skin. No complaints there at all. It didn't, even though I let it sit for a minute, it didn't get um dry and was hard for me to blend out. So everything blended out nicely. I still haven't figured out how to blend around my nose ring. Like I'll just do my whole makeup look and then I'll take a napkin and kind of wipe my nose ring because I haven't figured out how to work around it just yet y'all see it it, look, it looks skin like now I ain't gonna take that from them it looks real skin like I was glad I caught that ColourPop sale one Black Friday sale I was kind of upset that I missed was the Huda Beauty sale because a lot of people were talking about what good of a uh, sale they had for Black Friday and I missed that because I probably would have got a lot of stuff from Huda Beauty that I haven't tried and see see me blending it out y'all and how orange it looks I mean it looks like a bronzer you know how bronzers look but it didn't look like a contour and y'all be knowing I be wanting my contour to be popping So, of course, I go in with my Old Faithful. You already know what my Old Faithful is. Y'all know. Morphe, number 18. Contour and effects. Rex and effects. Yes. That's going to get me through everything. <laughs> One day, I'm just going to contour. I ain't going to do nothing else. I'm going I'm to see how that doing. We should do a video with just me. Just me using a contour and see how that turned out. I'm crazy. I'll do it too. So then I went in with the um, ColourPop um, setting powder in golden caramel. Something caramel. It will all be in the description box, y'all. But yeah, I said it, and this is a beautiful color to set it. It reminds me of the Sasha Buttercup, but a lot richer, a lot warmer. Perfect. I love this color uh, setting powders. This is my perfect, 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 perfect um, powder shade. Yes, I love it. I love it. It melted into my skin too. It really did. It really did.
Okay guys, I am back and this is the completed look using some ColourPop product. The concealer wasn't as full coverage as I would have liked it to be, but it still worked. The eyeshadow palette, <laughs> I was scared at first. I was getting ready to just wipe the whole look off and start all over, but I said keep going, keep going. Because these were darker shades. <sighs> very beautiful shades they, they remind you of maybe like purple blues beautiful beautiful shades but i'm gonna keep playing with it i'm gonna learn to keep playing with it but i like it i think it goes with my <laughs> with my shirt yeah so and the powder the powder that's a beautiful beautiful um i can't even find it banana color y'all know what kind of powder i like and i had some contour sticks i used them in another video before i should have used them here that concealer one shade 190 that i used to contour it wasn't deep enough i wonder how deep they go but yeah that was pulling more orange that's why i went in with my morphe stick to kind of deepen it up a little bit what else else and i had some um color pop um lip products i didn't even use it i'm just so used to using that maybelline <laughs> um products my maybelline um, matte liquid lipstick or whatever so yeah um if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you in my next video the colourpop haul will be up after this so i can show you all all of the products that i purchased from colourpop during their black friday sale so yeah if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you in my next video bye guys